Hello! Welcome to Trish Polish. I'm Trish, and my goal is to swatch as much of the nail polish in Japan as I possibly can. If that sounds like something you'd also be interested in, please consider subscribing. If not, that's okay too. It's still nice to see you. Today we're going to continue our trip down Hello Kitty nail polish lane with number 11 through number 15. With this new set of 10, we do have a new character bottle. Number 1 through 10 was Hello Kitty, and number 11 through 20 is Cinnamon Roll. Cinnamon Roll. Cinnamon Roll. Cinema, cinnamon Roll? It's not Cinnamon Roll. Cinnamon Roll. According to Yeo Wikipedia, in Japanese, his name is Cinnamon Roll. Okay, Cinnamon Roll. Is a character series created by Sanrio in 2001, with character designs from Mi Yuki Okumura. The main character, Cinnamon, is a white puppy with chubby cheeks and long ears, blue eyes, pink cheeks, and a plump and curly tail that resembles a cinnamon roll. He starred in his own manga series, an anime movie, and various animation shorts. Aesthetically, Hello Kitty had a basically primary color palette with some secondary colors mixed in so they were bright and bold, but Cinnamon Roll has this really dreamy, beautiful, soft color palette with lots of blues and pastels, and it is so, so pretty. Like I said earlier, we have five polishes to look at today, so I'm going to stop talking and just show you the polishes. I'm starting off all of my manicures today with a base coat to try to help prevent further staining. Today, I will be using the Ducato base coat. First up today, we have the shade Lemon Sorbet. This is a super pretty, soft, buttercreamy, lemon yellow, sheer base with a ton of these little bitty gold shimmers in it. Actually, looking at it now, there may even be a few little yellow shimmers in it. I'm not really sure, but the shimmer is beautiful. The formula here on the first coat is really, really smooth. It goes on so nice. I definitely wasn't expecting one coat coverage from this. The polish is just too thin and the color is too light, so you can still see quite a bit of the visible nail lines. So we're actually going to go for three coats today, but here's the second coat. I mean, no one says you couldn't wear it in two coats. You absolutely could, but I wanted to see if I could deepen up the color just a little bit more, so I did go in for a third coat on this one. And I love the way it turned out in three coats. I think I might be able to wear it in two, but I just really love how the third coat deepened up the color and just really made it pop off the nail. So really happy with three coats on this one. It's so pretty. This lemon color is the perfect spring yellow. And the sparkles add that extra little special touch that really make this polish stand out. In the swatch photo, you will see three coats of lemon sorbet and a glossy top coat. Next up, we have the shade raspberry red. This is a beautiful berry pink sort of red violet jelly color. It's looking like there's going to be a red in each collection of 10 shades and this one is definitely the more sophisticated older sister compared to the red in Hello Kitty's line. The formula again is really really smooth. It goes on without a problem at all and I'm really starting to expect a lot from the reds in this line to be honest with you. I got plump juicy coverage in two coats on this one. It dries down really nice and glossy, but I would suggest a top coat just to hold in your manicure and make it last a little bit longer. I do wish the brush were a little bit wider and a little more rounded at the tip, but it is what it is. Do you see what I mean? It's just like an elevated red. Like it's, it's red, but it's sophisticated. She's elevated. She's raspberry red. I mean, this color is nothing we haven't seen before. They didn't reinvent the wheel, but it looks this good and it was a dollar. That's worth noting. In the swatch photos, you will see two coats of raspberry red with a glossy top coat. Next up is the shade mauve or mauve pink. I'm American, so I tend to say mauve, but uh, the katakana on this is mauve pink. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is a dusty, almost purpley pink mauve color with a dusting of little silver shimmers. Again, no problems with application. The formula is super smooth and wonderful to work with. The formula on this polish is similar to the formula of hot chocolate. I may be showing my age here, but this color gives me major 80s vibes. Going in for a second coat, I was able to build up the polish to full opacity and cover up any visible nail line. I really love how smooth this polish went on and how smooth it kind of self levels. Like that's impressive for a dollar polish, but the color payoff is beautiful. This is such a pretty, pretty polish. The silver shimmer is a little hard to see unless you get really close up. 
but that's okay. I kind of think it makes the polish look extra glossy, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm running out of good things to say. Like I just really, this was a beautiful polish to work with. In the swatch photos, you will see two coats of mauve pink and a glossy top coat. Next up is the shade with the cutest name, My Unicorn. This polish has a beautiful lavender base with a ton of these little tiny green to blue shifting shimmers. I really tried to capture the shift on camera, but it just doesn't, doesn't work. In the first coat, as expected, the polish is super sheer and it goes on as more of a wash of color, but you can still kind of see the shimmers. It gives it kind of a frosted look and I was really worried that you would be able to see brush strokes in the end, but it was fine. You could absolutely wear this polish in two coats, but I wanted to go in for three because I was curious if I could get rid of the visible nail line and even out a little bit of the brush strokes because I really thought that my ring finger, I just couldn't get the color payoff and the opacity that I wanted, so I wanted to go in with three. I thought that three coats really did the trick, but honestly, in the end, this is never going to be a fully opaque polish, and I'm okay with that. There's just something really ethereal and majestic about the way this color looks on the nail, like it reminds me of a fairy tale in a bottle, if that makes sense. So I guess the name, My Unicorn, is pretty apt for this one. I was a little sad that the shimmers didn't show up as well as I was hoping for them to, but it's still a beautiful polish. You can kind of see it up close though. In the end, you could see a little bit of that brush strokiness, but honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. In this swatch photo, you will see three coats of My Unicorn and a glossy top coat. Last up today, but certainly not least, we have the shade Mystic Aqua. This is another one with a really gorgeous shift to it. The base is a muted out sheer aqua blue green color, and it is actually really packed with a pink to purple shifting shimmer. To no one's surprise, the first coat is really sheer. Again, it's just a soft wash of color, so I mean, if that's your thing, you could wear it just like that and be done with it. It's still really pretty, and you can still see the shift a little bit. I feel like a broken record, but no problems with the formula. Super smooth, goes on like a dream, kind of self-leveling, which is a bonus, and a beautiful color. I'd already kind of prepared myself for this being another three-coater, so I wasn't surprised at all when the second coat was still a little bit on the sheer side. Again, you could still wear it like this, but I wanted to go in with three coats to see if I could deepen up the color, bring out more shimmer, and give it like that layered jelly look, you know? And I was honestly just really curious if I could cover up the visible nail line on my ring finger or not. Overall, three coats is definitely the way to go on this polish. It gives it a lot more depth, brings out the shimmer, and just looks really, really stinking pretty. This color is just one of those that I would just end up staring at my hands all day. Like, it's so pretty and so shifty, and this entire color palette is just... Ah, it's my happy place. It's just so pretty. In the swatch photos, you will see three coats of Mystic Aqua and a glossy top coat. So what do you think? Which colors do you tend to gravitate towards? Are you a more like standard, bold, Hello Kitty kind of person? Or are you a dreamy, muted, pastel kind of person? Leave me a comment below and let me know. I think I've already said, basically, this color palette is just mwah, chef's kiss. It is my happy spot. I love it. I love the dreaminess. I love the ethereal, like almost like fairy tale kind of feel to it. Like I just, it's just so pretty, so pretty. Anyway, I think literally to no one's surprise, my favorite out of the ones that we looked at today is Mystic Aqua. This color is so pretty, no words, so pretty. It's like a fairy tale on my fingers. I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at how pretty that shift is. It's so freaking pretty. Okay, anyway, I'm actually wearing it in the intro and outro to this video and, um, I can't stop staring at my hands. A little bit more information about the brand. They do come in these really tiny five milliliter bottles, so they're super small. They are available at Daiso stores nationwide in Japan. The name now comes printed on the cap, and there are a total of 80 different colors with, unfortunately, mystery ingredients because I can't read the Japanese. <laughs> and added bonus, they just all look really pretty lined up next to each other. Oh yeah, and they're a dollar. So that's going to be all from me today. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And if you'd like to hang out and talk some more about nail polish, please consider subscribing. I try to put out new videos every Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching and y'all have a good week.